So this is our new uh, land that we just uh, leased out for the Black Suja Fly Lava Farming. And um, it's just a half plot of land. So just follow our journey from start to finish. It's going to be a wonderful learning experience, I guarantee. I give you, I give you that guarantee. It's going to be a wonderful learning experience. So this is how you construct your lovarium or simply put your love net. Um, you already see what we did here. <laughs> this is the opening through which you send in your substrate, you send in your pupa, you send in um, everything you need to send into this place. And also this is where you retrieve your eggs from. So sir, what is the measurement for this? What is the measurement for this one? This is five feet. Length by this. The length is five feet. Yes. It's seven feet. The other side is seven feet. Yes. So five feet, seven feet, you already see. And if you look carefully, you see that on top of the roof, we have um, a transparent uh, roofing sheet there. Assuming I have the funds to buy all transparent roofing sheet. I would have done that because the black soldier fly lava they require sunlight in order for them to effectively meet. And when you look here, you see that there's a net, there's a net here that will keep the flies entrapped in a space. So this is what the love area or the love net looks like. So I'm going to take it to that side, All right? I'm going to shift it to that side so that sunlight can penetrate into it. And then when it rains, so that rain cannot uh, gain access into the, um, the love net. So this is basically the conclusion of how to make a love net. It's, it's, it's huge, it's big. So this can contain a lot of flies. And by the time I build, I'm going to build a second one, which we are going to use so to get more flies and get more eggs. So my goal in this farm is to uh, get about 
uh, get about let's say 500 uh 500 grams of eggs every other day so that's my goal get 500 grams of eggs every other day so if, if, if you've been following this journey you'll see that we've made a lot of progress with what we are doing here we've made a lot of progress and uh, it's amazing this black soja fly lava farming is something you should start so this is the expanse of the farm right now doesn't look big but it is big it is big this is not this is no longer uh, something i'm doing from my backyard i've invested some good nigerian nera into this project right now and i'm very confident that this is going to turn out to be something very good right you can see that's not going to be the position of the lovarium okay so the next video we're going to be making is going to be how we can get a, a place where we're going to be keeping our um, lavas, where we're going to train our lavas. There are different ways we can go about it, but I have a very unique method that I thought about. I'm going to use something that is relatively available in our environment to make it happen. You don't want to miss that video. You don't want to miss that video. So take a good look again. And this is our love net. It has, because of the space, because of how spacious this thing is, we have to create two openings. This is the other opening. That's the other opening. All right. That's the other opening. We're going to put some engines there so we can easily open and shut. So we can send in some, some, uh, we can send in some, let's say some pupa, or substrate in there and then from here too we can send another batch in so it will make the whole thing pretty easy so this is the most we can take in this video so I'm, I'm sure you've enjoyed the process of making this love net from the beginning up until this point do like our video and subscribe to our youtube channel we have a ton of useful content to share with you God bless you.